You are now listening to Next Legacy Radio, a radio station for the people. I want to take the time to welcome everybody to this edition of I Am Branded. I am in the building. In, in memory of Sweet Aaron as well. I got Gav here who's going to help me out with this Q&A session tonight. What up, Gav? Hey, right, yo, what do you do, big bro? Hey, hey man. man, I'm chilling. Go ahead. Um, shit, I got a good one. I just was checking out the SoundCloud. I'm like, dang, these sisters could flow. And they got like that 90s no. hip-hop flow. Right, right. And that's the thing that I want everybody to tune in and check out tonight as we go hard on Branded After Dark. Basically, just letting y'all know, like, to me, I think introducing these young ladies is going to be official. But also, if you listen to the song right here, it's like they're, they're taking elements of that uh, of that phase that we all was in in the 90s and turning it into something that matter. And I, and I hope everybody out there that's listening and paying attention to, like, the culture of music, like everybody knows, like that listens to the show and had listened to the show for nine years or whatnot. That the nineties is all the decade is always going to have a heavy place in my heart, just because to me I thought that was a decade of diversity when it comes to uh, you know different layers of hip hop, different layers of R and B, just winning, just showing a lot of support and love, and you know people were more entrepreneurs back then. They had their little labels and. They grew their brand, and their business was business, and it was a good look. So, you know, these ladies right here that go by the name of Blush is coming in, and, you know, what what impressed me about them is, like, they just seemed like they had that fun element. Like, remember, remember, guys, the 90s was fun. It was just Hell it was yeah. just a good look. It was a good look. I mean, you know, you had your, you had your scattered, you know, gangster rap and stuff like that, but you had your yeah. party, you know what I'm saying, your, yeah, okay. your, your romance. You had your, you know, you had, you know, your turn up music, like, you know, <laughs> like, like, like my man Luke and, and the 69 boys. And, you know, you had those, you had those little lanes and everybody was winning. So, you know, it's going to be a cool look to be able to talk to these young ladies tonight. And, uh, and of course, you know, they are a part of the music world recording, uh, group that, uh, my man, Mr. Matthew knows that I had an opportunity to talk to uh, a while back. And actually I'll be talking to on Tuesday, um, you know, He's, he's, they're part of that imprint, and I want to make sure that I give a Branded After Dark Next Legacy salute to the ladies that go by the name of Blush. What's up, my queens? Hey! Hey, how y'all doing? We good. And, and, and they're harmonizing it so well, too. Oh. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I just got chills for a minute. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah, they got talent. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's that feel good music. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing tonight? We're doing good. How are you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And for the listeners out there that's listening to y'all for the first time, why don't y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves? All right, all right. I'm Sunny. I'm Tally. I'm Bunny Ray. And we are Blush Music. Indeed, indeed. Blush Music is in the building. And I'm going to ask to start off the show, and I'm, I'm like I said, to, in, to intro you guys and girls and all you people out there listening. To me, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good, good level of just culture to be able to kind of get y'all invited into this uh, to this music world. So I'm, I'm going to ask out of the gate, you know what I'm saying? One by one, y'all can go ahead and do, do a nice little answer to it. But how'd y'all ladies get started? How'd y'all group up and get together and start? on this music journey that we call this entertainment business? Um, Definitely. Well, the group started back in 2009. Uh, we were all in school, and I had this vision well, to have two rappers and a singer, something that's never been done before. Um, I started, this is Sunny speaking, by the way. <laughs> um, I started writing poetry, writing rhymes, so a while back since, like, fourth grade. So, you know, I always admired Destiny's Child and TLC wanted to be in a group. So found um, Tally on Facebook. We got together. We started building a bond. We built a sisterhood. We lived together. Um, and, you know, we live in an era of social media. Social media is <laughs> very impactful yes. in our generation. True. And then later on, we actually met Miss Bunny Ray on Instagram. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, the group was formed, Bless Music, from there, and um, yeah, we built, we we we're like sisters. I mean, we weren't we we got to naturally bond and naturally pick one another and decide, you know, whether we wanted to, you know, be a group and things of that nature. So yeah, it's history. Love here. it. I love it. I love it. One one thing I can tell about y'all ladies, it seems like y'all got a lot of energy and passion. Like when y'all, I mean, to me, that's in a lot of ways is what's missing in the music business in general. So my my next question is before Gab asks and all of, all these, there's so many people out here listening tonight, which is a good look, and I love the fact that we got a lot of traffic just because you know we we all want to know what's going on with you ladies. So my next one is. Like, y'all, y'all are taking different portions. And I went on you guys' at SoundCloud, and I checked out some of your music, and, and I hear y'all y'all pay so much respect and admiration for the culture of the 90s music. So was that something y'all came in as a collective group to say, hey, you know what, we're going to make sure that we take it back to its element of where it was multicultural and fun? Uh, okay, well, this is Tally speaking. And the... um. That all came about because a lot of people, when we started bonding and doing our music and just freestyling and just putting the harmonies, a lot of people started to say that we reminded them naturally of, like, old school artists. You have Sonny who reminds people mm-hmm. of M. Light and Queen of Tifa. You have uh, Bunny Ray who gives you that left side, the Brad Lil' Kim feel. And then you have me that come across that gives you the full harmonies of the way girl groups used to work back then. So with that, we were like, well, let's just beat everybody to the punch. That's all we listen to. That is why we're made this way. This is why we sing and rap this way. So we were like, let's just do it comes natural. So we just started saying, hey, we're bringing that, bringing that, bringing that old school back. And we're bringing that old school hip hop back. So I'm like, okay, let's do that. Let's just put a little bone thug twist on it and put my little harmonies. Because, you know, it's probably hard for girl groups. They automatically think that, dang, all of them got to sing or do harmonies. But like you mm-hmm. heard when we said hello to you, we all can naturally blend our different tones. And that's what makes blush, and that's what brought the hip hop, and that's what makes it old school because we really want you to feel good, and we really just want to tell you that that's what we're inspired by, and that, those are the people who paved the way for us to do music. Beautiful. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nelly, go ahead, Gab. What's your question? Uh, no, nah, shit. Yeah, like I said, y'all got some talent. I'm, I was listening to y'all sound quite. I'm like. Well, I got that 90s feeling, but it's like a new 90s feeling. Like, oh, you know, I'm shit, I'm I'm up on y'all music now. Oh, thank, thank you. Yeah. you, you welcome, love the new right? stuff. It's yeah. still old school feeling, but it's new. <laughs> well, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. So, so how would you ladies get how would you ladies get hooked up with Mr. Mr. Matthew Knowles? Yeah. Great. Um, well, we were grinding in the city, showing our faces everywhere, trying to get out there. And we actually, up here at Music World, Music World Entertainment Day, were having a showcase. And we heard through the grapevine about it and heard that Mr. Knowles came up here and was giving his feedback. And we were like, we need to go. We need to show our faces and, you know, get some feedback from him. And we went. We entered, we entered into the showcase. And we got in there, and he actually came, and he gave us some feedback. Originally, he gave us a lot of feedback on things that he wanted us to uh, work on and things, things that he wanted us to see. We came back. We implemented the, the feedback that he gave us, and I, he actually got to see a little bit more of what it is that we did. Then he came. He actually requested us back. The third time, we came back. We did an acapella, and we got to show exactly the two rappers, the different elements that the two rappers brought, the sound, the vocalist sound, all raw. You know, just the vocals, just us. And he was like, you know what? I see this. I I see it. I I see the passion. I see the drive. I want to develop y'all. And, you know, Music World is all about trendsetting, doing something different. And he loved the fact that it was two rappers and one singer. That's something that's never been done before. So he was like, I want to develop y'all. I want to make history with y'all. So we got hooked up with him from there. And there you have it as far as just how you guys got. And, and, and to me, I always feel like, it's, especially when you talk about Mr. Matthew Knowles, of course, everybody knows him as Beyonce's dad. And, you know, basically one of the driving forces of one of the greatest female groups of all time with Destiny's Child. 
and for uh, you guys to be aligned with him and for you for you all three to, you know, basically just kind of capture that, okay, well, you know what, I'm sold because you guys have that passion and, and that and that drive and that talent to be able to go forward. So, I mean, you don't really, a lot of people don't get too many opportunities like that. So how has that been for you ladies in general as far as not just putting together your your sound, your brand, et cetera, but how has that been just in general just knowing, wow, you know what, this guy, he's been – you know, the driving force behind one of the greatest female groups of all time. Well, it's working with Mr. Knowles. Oh, this is Bunny, by the way. Bunny Ray, hey. <laughs> but um, working with Mr. Knowles is an awesome experience. He's actually put us through artist development, which, um, you know, if you're you're wanting to be an aspiring artist, I would advise you to definitely get into artist development. We actually went through the same boot camp as Destiny's Child, working on fitness, image, um, running practices, doing shows all over Houston to um, recording. And it, it just, the list goes on. And that's what really, really just gave us that motivation. Like, hey, we're being developed by the best. And at the end of the day, hey, if, if you want to get out there, <laughs> it, it really matters to be developed as an artist. And I think what you just said, Miss Bunny Ray, uh, to me, I think that's important because you don't talk about, like, most artists, they talk about, I've arrived, I've done this, and I've done that without putting in the kind of work. And for, for you, um, actually, for all three of y'all to say, hey, you know what, we're, we're, in this, we're in this boot camp, we're trying to make sure we develop, you know what I'm saying, and try to be better forever, not just try to be better for the moment. Like, you know, I think that's kind of important for a lot of people out there that's trying to get into music to be able to say, hey, you know what, just because I have this talent, you know, you're very, it's very rare that it can just be an overnight success that comes out of it, right? Definitely yeah. correct. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. And patience. And focus. We're very hands-on with our craft, and that's another thing we really appreciate with Mr. Matthew Knowles because – Although people look at it like, oh, you're signed, you're about to come out tomorrow, where well, it's not that way. You have to think about bonding, especially with a girl group. That's mm-hmm. hard to find nowadays. It's hard to keep. A lot of people, they, they don't really have a lot of hope. They don't believe that girls groups will last because of this time. And you see a lot of solo artists, but with us, it's really mm-hmm. different. We really have to create. We have to sit down. We have to write. We have to run it by each other, make sure we're not repeating the same thing and still get the same energy. So it's it's really important that you do do artist development and you do look at it like, I respect my struggle. I don't want it to be an overnight success. I want to be able to say, today I didn't do too well, and tomorrow we're going to work to do a little better. I feel like we're being built up. We're, getting, we're able to build a good story right now <laughs> for people to relate to. Yeah. And that's the story of a beautiful journey. Branded After Dark has Blush Music in the building. You can make sure you hit them up on Twitter at Blush Music. And Blush is B-L-U-S-H-H-H. And uh, make sure you hit up the SoundCloud, which is soundcloud.com backslash Blush Music as well. And, uh, Gab, before you ask uh, another question, uh, here, here's what I'm noticing from y'all. It's the first time I'm talking to y'all, so it's kind of like, you know, I'm just trying to absorb everything that is Blush Music right now. And here, and here, here's what I get instantly. And I got it when we had that brief dialogue right before I cued you guys in. Is I'm I'm noticing just like a nice vibe, a good camaraderie. Like I'm noticing this like in the first few minutes of even talking to y'all. And to me, that's a rare thing in music because you got so many, you know, you got so many people trying to be the one, even though you're a group. And, and this is and this is what I'm taking in. I really appreciate y'all for really just kind of getting it in and doing it. Is the simple fact that y'all genuinely seem like y'all is down. And I mean, how did y'all get to that point? <laughs> at, at such, I mean, but y'all, y'all feel me? What I'm saying, right? Like it's it's rare. We don't see yeah. that nowadays. And we, so y'all y'all just got really connected as a group not too long ago. So how did y'all really get to bond the way y'all have? Because that's a rare thing in music nowadays. I mean, we had years of struggle. <laughs> like I said, the group was started back in 2009. And like I said, it's not an overnight success. You have to keep grinding and keep focusing on 
no matter what life throws your way, you got to remember the goal. You got to remember that. And that's what we did. Um, we, we, we slowly but surely built ourselves individually and as an artist, and we never lost sight of what was important. And so with you, if you have that and you remember that, then success will come your way. Now we're starting to see all the hard work that we've had up to this point. It's starting to pay off. And I would say the three of us all come from different backgrounds. So, you know, we're all able to lean on each other in situations and really just depend on one another. You know what I mean? And we see things in different perspectives. So when you have that in a group, you know, and you're really bonding, it, it's just it's beautiful. You, mm-hmm. Within the group, we look. We don't. We look, everything's not gonna be rainbow. <laughs> not rainbow. <laughs> three girls. <laughs> yeah. Three different types of girls. Right. Different, yeah. You know, zodiac signs and all that there. But <laughs> it's different, and we're hip hop, so we're a little more freedom of speech. We believe that hip hop is freedom of speech over any type of beat. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, and right. feel free to be you. So. With that, that's what we bring to the table with each other. If one person not feeling something today, she come in like, hey, yo, today ain't my day. Bear with me. You know, and it's what it is. And it goes into how Matthew, Mr. Matthew knows works. It is know your role. In a group, it is very important to know your role. Mm-hmm. So with solo artists, I feel like you might have a little more fun if you're in a group. <laughs> Just play a role. Yeah, that's right. I can see me being lonely on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I, I feel y'all because I mean, being being a, a part of a group is definitely a good look. I mean, and you you go back into history. I mean, if you want to go nineties, of course, we talked about Destiny's Child, but you talk about Seven O Two Escape. You talk about so many different groups, and even if you want to go back, like you can go back to you know during the days of the Supremes, you know Diana Ross and the Supremes. Excuse me. And, and just, you know, in general, just the magic that was created by the group and not just one person. Even though you have, like, yeah. artists that do splinter off and go and, and have successful careers and stuff like that, too, but it's, it's nothing as powerful as a, a solid group. So, ladies, when you when you guys look back at the history of female groups and grouping you, you guys into this new fraternity that you're in, I mean, when you look at the history, like, I mean, how does that make y'all feel, like, just being able to tackle on something that a lot of people may feel like it's extinct, but at the same time, a lot of people are still searching for it? Because me personally, I love girl groups. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And to me, it's just dope just to be able to see people can put it together. I mean, and I know mentioning TLC is an understatement, but, I mean, they was one of the ones that did it in the 90s and did it great, too. Yeah, definitely. It's power. To be honest, I didn't mean to jump on the answer, but it, it was kind of building up, boiling up in me. Mm-hmm. To me, to be able to be in a group and to do it and to do it like they did back then is power, especially for women today, young women. The way we're all about bettering this generation. We're young and we, we have a lot of people that's in our age group. And instead of us judging one another and talking down, or you know what I mean? It's about empowerment. And we're all about unity. And when you do that, I feel like you tackle the strongest thing in the world pretty much because a lot of people find it hard to work with other people or you're constantly able to fire people hire someone else but when you're stuck in this it's like a job you can't come in and be mad at your manager and then be like you know what i quit i don't get your money (laughs) (laughs) for real (laughs) (laughs) that's why our music we write our music and we explain exactly everything we are we're very big on the way on our writing we don't want nobody touching our stuff we want right on stuff. We want our family. I heard that. We're about that life, and that's our, one of our songs. We're about that life. Practice <laughs> what you preach. Definitely. <laughs> it's about breaking barriers, and that's what we want to do. We want to show you that women can work together. Right. They can make great music and have fun. And, and break barriers. Yes, and still have a little yeah. usefulness into it. That's what I love about TLC. <laughs> mm-hmm. yes. Right. Yeah, have you got something before I ask him a question? Yeah. Uh, where are y'all from? Are y'all from Texas or, or Atlanta? Uh, we, <laughs> uh, this is Sunny, uh, a rapper in the group. I am from Willow Hills, California, so that's the West Coast, actually. Cali. <laughs> Sunny Ray. Yes, yes. Yeah, but Ray, second rapper in the group, and I'm a Houston, Texas native, H-Town. <laughs> and this is Sally, yeah, right. of course, the singer. And... And I am from Houston as well. 
Hey, Sean. <laughs> yeah. uh, see, we got we got Texas, we got Texas and California love, and not just in the building uh, with Blush Music as our guest on Branded After Dark. And, and I'm going to ask y'all, beautiful ladies, you know what I'm saying, the sound y'all got to me is, you know, even though it has a, a, a 90s flavor to it, it's still like what Gav said, new 90s in a lot of ways, and that's what's, to me, I feel missing in this business. And it is a male-dominated business, ladies, so as many groups as we mentioned and as much love and respect as we always feel like we need to show women, there's still a lack of support for women such as yourselves in this male dominated uh business. So how do you, how do y'all feel about just in general where you're at as far as musically and what we can be able to do to keep it stable? Because we had fun back in the day. You go back eighty nineties, we had so many women winning. You know what I mean? And now it's just, you know, it's a rarity now. So how can we get that back? I think that it's coming. Um like Mr. Noah said, he believes that this year there's going to be a wave of a lot of women, uh, groups and women that's going to be coming out. We uh, are completely for women empowerment, and I feel as though as long as you stick together and we stay together and we promote that, I feel like everyone is going to jump on the wave. And as long as, you know, everyone is stands together and promotes it together, yeah, fine. <laughs> I think that, you know, it, it's going to come. It's just right now we're kind of outnumbered in the industry, but – it's coming back, and when it comes, it's going to come full speed, and I feel like we all should unite and bring that power back to women and power together so that people can see that women can work together. And to be honest, in a weird way, a lot of men have showed us a lot of support and respect. They actually mm-hmm. like the way sometimes we not we don't have on makeup, our hair might be messy, we come in, we very, we very tomboy swag. We just now getting into the hills. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. They love the transformation. They love the funness that we have. They love the three different flavors of a group you get. You got three different types of young ladies that are three different flavors. So I feel like anybody in the audience, dudes are going to like whoever, whichever one of us. We're attractive young ladies. I believe all of us are beautiful in our own ways. I believe that true, we also have very true. <laughs> Thank you. But true. And, 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 like and look, who, 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 said that, who said that they're just now starting to get in the hills? Who, who just said that? Tally, but all three of us are in heels now. It's, it's all three of us. Okay. Tally. Just tally. So, wait, wait, wait. Wait, so y'all, y'all wasn't rocking them before? So, how, I mean, you know, because, hey, Gav, I don't know about you, but it impresses me when a woman can put on them damn heels and walk around like it's nothing. Like, I, I hey, Ever? like, hey, my respect level for y'all goes, like, super up there, like, all the time. So, you know, hey, hey, y'all, y'all, get, y'all get all the love from me because, you know, men can't do what y'all do. That's for damn sure. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> well, thank you. We're mastering uh, it. We're, we're mastering it. We're, we're, we're cutting up. We're still dancing. We're not standing still in no heels. we uh-uh. cutting up. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 And that's what I mean because it's it's you know hey you put a you you put a guy who who's wearing like you know super high shoes or high heels or whatever kind of inches on them heels we ain't doing nothing but just standing right there like you know even if we had to do it on a dare because that's that's not that's not it <laughs> but y'all y'all were saying something about the look y'all y'all you said you had the tomboyish look or something like that right I don't think so I mean y'all attract the ladies y'all got that. Y'all got that nice look, like, for real. So uh, as far as different fashion, the fashion sense, like, what, what do you what do you see for yourselves and what's really the end thing to y'all as far as, you know, how to, you know, put on y'all fashion uh, look for the, for the uh, you know, for the people out there checking y'all? Well, there's a swaggy blush, there's a sexy blush, and there's an edgy blush. So those three things we kind of look to when we come in and we're looking at styling, when people are looking at styling us, we're not just one thing across the board. We have a hint of each other um, that we mix in because, you know, there's a different styles of rap. There's a different style of singing. Singing is sometimes supposed to be more seductive. You're rapping. Sometimes you have the more energized sound. You have that hard-hitting sound. So our we let our fashion speak for us because, like, uh, Sunny right now, she I'm going to paint the picture. Sunny right now, she rocking a Nike unit, a Nike workout unit right now. Because we just got out of practice. But she got on her mm-hmm. Nike unit. 
Ike's in the top. So she she's the workout girl. She's the athletic gear. Then you got Miss Bunny Ray over here in her crop top. It's a pretty gray crop top with a little cleavage. And her her tie up, her flannel tie up, the red tie up, so that when she's hopping around, her energy, you get to see it kind of fly. You get to see some thighs. And then you have Miss Tally, uh, yours truly speaking. I'm wearing a shooter shirt that's black. (laughs) And I have on the little shorts with the fish, I mean, the little. Stockings, got the crosses on it. Mine's a little more edgy, tacky. That's my thing. I'm the wild one. So, yeah, you get to see <laughs> that's how that's what we do. <laughs> we, that's us. And we come in. It's like we're a handful. We are. We just had a video shoot, and it was not the easiest, but we made it happen. <laughs> that's what's up. Look out that's for that. what's up. Yes, <laughs> that video in the single, the old school back in two it weeks. will be dropping. Hey, I love to, I love to hear that. Branded After Dark has blush music in the building. We have Tally, we have Sunny, we have Bunny Ray. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow them on Twitter at blush b l u s h h h music. Also hit them up on SoundCloud dot com backslash blush music. Spelled the same. Activists can be and you know what what's in store for y'all? Because right now, I mean, you know, we we didn't win on SoundCloud and rated your music grind and we love what y'all about so what's what's in store for y'all continuing to you know push these you know i want to call them mixtapes or just you know free music projects until y'all actually launch something you know where we're going to be checking because i mean honestly i'm ready to buy something from y'all now like you know how djs get like the good music you know what i'm saying i'm I'm trying to i'm trying to spend i'm trying to spend that music on y'all i'm trying to spend that money on y'all right now so what's good First things first, the single will be open to everyone in just a couple of weeks. It's actually pre uh, been let out for the Grind Face mixtape that they have for South by Southwest. It's a big mixtape they put together every year. Grind you can actually Grind Face with a Y. Um, you can go on SoundCloud and listen before exclusively before our single actually comes out to the world. Two songs. Mm-hmm. We have Old School Back, which is our first single, and we have About That Life. And those also will be on the album that is coming up, which is going to be out in June, which is Black Music Month. Um, it has this title, Old School Back Past, Present, and Future. So that's going to be coming out. And we have these next couple of shows that are coming up for South by Southwest. I don't know if y'all are very familiar with South by Southwest. It's a big thing they do down here in the South. A lot of hip-hop mm-hmm. artists have came. And um, it was a broke barrier everywhere from Kendrick with Khalifa, Drake, Post Malone, all these artists came in and really built their fan base from South by Southwest. So we're going, it's kind of our show. It's, our, it's not our show. But, you know, we're going to come and, and run the show. But we're going to go. <laughs> we're I heard that. This is our first show. The industry really gets to see what blood music is bringing to the table and get to really hear our sound and the elements, three different elements in this group. Coming out party. Yeah, we coming out March 18th in Austin, mm-hmm. Texas, and then we're gonna back door and give San Antonio a taste of us at the Tejano Music Awards, the Fanfare Festival that they do every year. I mean, that's the that's about 30,000 people uh-huh. that come there every year for the Tejano Music Awards. Wow. We're gonna go ahead and give them a taste of blush, you know, get to tap into my girl Telly's Latin side of the of the, of the spectrum. You know, she's half Colombian. So she's going to be on stage speaking Spanish to everybody. Me and Bunny right now. She said, she said a taste of blush. She said a taste of blush. Good Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Blush girl. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best interview. Yeah, y'all really the best so far, man. Y'all really made us feel comfortable. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can y'all can y'all say that? Can y'all say that one more time? Because I want all these hundreds of thousands of listeners to say that one more time. Can y'all say it one more time, please? All right. Well, you guys have made us blush. Y'all are like one of our favorite interviews, <laughs> and we're happy. Hey, hey. It's been great so far. And that's well, the, and that's the goal, people. like. Go ahead, y'all guys. Happy on it. Y'all got us happy on this feel good music. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. That's that's the that's the 
point. So make sure you go to that ground hey. SoundCloud and check out the new, the new, new music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we might call it back. Mm-hmm. Indeed, <laughs> indeed, indeed. Not just, not just the the grind. And to me, I always feel like this, ladies, as you know, media guys and girls and people out there, like you know, we 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 don't have to, you know, cater to the same thing over and over again. That's boring. Like you get somebody like yourselves that's you know that's that's starving. And when I say starving, I'm talking about passionate about trying to create a lane for y'all. You know, for y'all's legacy and stuff like that. I mean, you know, how can you, how can you like us not get excited? Like, you know, what I'm saying we're embracing it because it's about to go down, and I see y'all trying to make that happen. So I'm real proud that you guys are out there trying to get it. And for the people out there listening, you know, what I'm saying y'all listening to this to the show that these ladies are about to do, performing in front of, you know, what I'm saying fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand people. You know what I'm saying? All y'all people that say it can't be done is actually being done, and it's being done by Blush Music. So I'm just letting y'all people know that, though. Just saying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As 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 the ladies continue to blush, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, while we all logged in, like, I I definitely need people to go check out. If if any business want to go down, make sure y'all go ahead and email Matthew.Knowles at MusicWorldENT.com. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you check out the SoundCloud because they got their uh, Black History 365 mixtape on uh, SoundCloud. So make sure y'all go ahead and check it out. Snapchat, y'all still do that, right? Blush Music, y'all on that too. Y'all yeah. on Instagram as well? We on that thing. Blush with three H's music. All social media, Twitter, Facebook, fan page. Go like that, by the way. Tumblr, uh, Twitter, Instagram, oh, yeah. Yeah. Snapchat. All of that. <laughs> follow us. Tell your friends to follow us. Tell your mama to follow us. Your grandma to follow us. They all gonna like fun. Be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, not only do the family and friends and, and, and new people that get that's logged in, definitely make sure y'all ladies uh, you know, tweet that out there, Instagram, all the social media stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we could uh we can all make sure that we uh we, we following each other and showing that love and a couple of quick questions before I let y'all go and Blush Music is my guest on Branded After Dark. Um what what you know aside from all the stuff that you ladies are doing right now, collaborative efforts and you know music videos and songs that's possibly coming out. What what's on y'all music bucket list as far as accomplishments? What what do y'all want to do now that you guys are starting to get an enormous amount of attention? We want to break barriers, obviously. Do things that's never been done before. We want to want to be trendsetters from from our music to our clothes. That's number one. To really inspire people to be themselves no matter what, because you can only be the best you. Obviously, we want to headline our own tour. We want to have a number one album. Continue with number one album. Maybe. Make our fans happy. Yeah. Be able to really, you know, show the fans that we're here and we're going to always be loyal to them and keep giving them that feel-good music that, they, that we start out with. And yeah, grow That's from there. I want to. Oh, I can't wait for the fans to be able to see our progression in front of them, before their eyes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all sound like y'all sound like y'all blushing. This that this that blush movement y'all talking about, right? Blush rush, yeah. blush <laughs> movement. Like it's it's all yeah, it's all over. Man. Just that excitement. Like you feel that though, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It just makes it's it look more cheap. relaxing if you blush if you look at it. If you Google it, it'll be more <laughs> relaxing for your muscles and your face. <laughs> Straight up, I feel that though. In closing, in closing, Gab, you want to say anything to the ladies before we let them go? Oh shit! Keep up the good work. Don't stop. You know, take no, it to the top. Not. Take it to the top. I make that promise to ourselves. That's the goal. Uh, <laughs> uh, the ball is in y'all court. <laughs> All right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then closing, I want to, what, what? <laughs> and I want to, I want to thank y'all ladies for uh, not just tuning in and just, you know, just keep on that path. Like, you know, it's it's a good look to be able to not just witness it, but just to be a part of y'all, y'all music, uh, you know, journey. And I think that's a, that's a good look. And you know, like I said earlier, people, anybody that's trying to book these ladies, they are world music world recording artists. Hooked up through Matthew Knowles. If you want to email him, y'all can go ahead and do that. Matthew.Knowles at musicworldent.com for bookings. 
Make sure y'all follow these ladies at Blush Music, B L U S H H H. Make sure y'all hit up SoundCloud.com yeah. backslash Blush Music as well. And, and look, like Tally, Sunny, Bunny Ray, hey, I appreciate y'all giving giving uh, Next Legacy Branded After Dark a lot of love to tonight. It's definitely been fun. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. having thank us. You. All right, don't be a stranger. Uh, so when y'all turn when y'all turn up and get that single out, can y'all please come back? When y'all get that album, can we do uh, an album release, well. all that good stuff? Can of we come course. back and do that? Of y'all are favorites. Yeah, we uh, hey, 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 Gab, you heard that? She, they said that we're favorites now. We're favorites, so that's hey. that's that's big. That's big. Hey, <laughs> come, they coming for that number one spot. <laughs> <laughs> we yes. But y'all will be able to see it all. Y'all will be able to see it though. Oh, that's that's love. That's love. And you know what? A lot of blessings to you ladies for uh for doing what y'all are doing. And I'm and I'm just glad we got a we got a, a, a good list of females, uh, you know, females trying to just not just trying but just, you know, to me putting a big stamp on this industry and it's you know, it's making it fun again, knowing that we have y'all and others that's really just trying to just, you know, rock out and do what y'all do. So Man, this was fun. This was fun. I appreciate y'all. Thank, Thank you. Welcome. And, and, and in closing, can y'all heart as we close and say good night? Can we, uh, you know, we gonna run old school back again? Uh, can y'all go ahead and, uh, you know, cue that up so we can play it and send y'all out in style? <laughs> That's what's up. All right, all right. You ready? Yep. All right. Well. Y'all are rocking with Sunny, Tally, Bunny Ray. We are Blush, Blush Music. Music. And you about to listen to our single, Old, old School, school Back. Back. We bringing it, bringing it, bringing it on school back. We bringing that on school hip hop. Thank you for listening to the number one radio station for the people.